with uh, more knowledge and again looking at the, the Moors when they say that Moya is derived from the Portuguese word Moa or Moa so you get this weird word and his trans wife you know his great big trans wife yeah we have trans of course Jim Moya I mean the uh, you know, his eyes and that, you know, so close together again, it's like an on the on, uh, determinable race type of thing, you know. And I would say he's like, uh, again, one of these type of, you know, these type of, uh, the white devil's idea, you know, the pig uh, people and all that, that they've created with the genetic program. You know, definitely. And of course, he's uh, supposed to be a comedian, but as funny as, you know, something totally unfunny like you know what I mean but right obviously a weirder type of thing I mean what a you know a couple of chances again you know like a sort of piggish like the face you know so definitely you know the moor again the moor's idea right? again Moira Stewart and yeah, uh, I've done a video on this one before and that, but I didn't, I didn't know about the Moors cool idea in that one. But obviously the Stuart line is the, uh, the sort of supposed royal line of Britain and all that. Of course, of the uh, you know, Caribbean heritage. And the Moors could, born in the Royal Free Hospital, of course, uh, dirty trans, but again, looking at the, the Noah's idea, you've seen a bit of a pig idea, you know. Yeah. So again, this one's got to be coming out of an uh, artificial, you know, genetic care uh, experimentations program and all that, you know. And of course, high up in the British Empire idea, you know what I mean? And of course, yeah, you know, involved in all the hex of Gulf War bullshit. Repeater Googled <laughs> in the air. Uh, <clears throat> and look at the thing now. You know, a little block type of thing, you know, with a wing on. Unbelievable. Again, Moorish line. So this one here is related to that uh, Jim Moyer, you know. Of course, like, you know, just because most people do and see beyond the fact that the one's black and one's white. But of course, you know, in these ways, that means no. You know, they can't be totally of the same bloodline and all that. This is interesting how, you know, I'd say a tie in with the Scottish Highlands idea, or the Lure Lands in this case, and this part of the Clan Gordon. Yeah, members of the Burgesses and Guild Brethren of Glasgow. So you can see what I mean, it's uh, totally tied in with Freemasonry and that the, uh, the Moors idea. And of course, plenty of like uh, notable Moyers are idea in there. Uh, Clan Gordon. <laughs> Again, this source will be coming, you know, the Moors, the Moors could. And uh, that one as well, see the moise it as well. Alison Moyer is uh, Moyes as well, see. So the could and runs through all the stuff. Again, this one here, uh, well, it's obviously uh, fat, it's a trans uh, underneath the, you know, underneath the fatness. Of course, they, you know, they, they use the hormones and it gives a little weight here. Yeah. You can see it's like the Moors idea is here very much in the day with Scotland. 
again, you've got the genes of Eve, you know, the genetic bloodline of Eve, in the genus, in the air, ballard, you know, ball, ballard, embryo, in the air. Half of the duo, Yazoo. Yazoo. And there. Uh, you're in an Essex side, the older third sex. So you got that Gary Lamon in there, written by, by Lamont Duzier. You know, so this Lam, Islam, yeah, Lamont. You know, and that's another Scottish clan idea, you know, Lamont. And the love resurrection. And then there's the uh, Eurasia, right? And that comes from 1984. You know what that? Eurasia, and then 1984 directly underneath. I was using these codes all the time. Past was erased. Erasure was forgotten. And the lie became the truth. George Orwell, 1984. The very, you know, is this a Moors uh, war going on, like, type of thing, you know. Book 1, Chapter 7. Again, we're seeing that the uh, 17 thing in the cough, you know, the curve in the cough. You know, the, uh, the 17. So it's the 19th, uh, the 19th letter, but it's also uh, in the shape of a 17. Of that Vince Clark, yeah, uh, in uh, that pop group, you have Peter B. Clark, the founder and editor of the Journal of Contemporary Religion. And research fields have spawned Islamic movements and well, the new religions derived from African, Brazilian, and all this. Is he related to the uh, one in the pop group? You know, very possibly. You know, very possibly. Oxford University again. And then Abdullah Samad Clark, who converted to Islam, is one of the UK's most renowned Muslim translators. So you get a bit of Clark uh, involved in the in the Muslim, you know. Plenty of uh, clerks involved in Muslim, why is that? You know what I mean? Of course a clerk is a clerical Clerical post idea, you know. So you know, what you know, clock. What are they ushering in Islam type of thing? The early war, of course, is that what's going on? They didn't know. Yeah. And yeah, again, we see here with the more uh, yeah, refer to supernatural beings known as enchanted moors, right? Shape shifters and trans. Moa implies alien and non Christian, siren like fairies, with girl more reddish hair and fair face. So is that sort of symbolizing shape shifting into the white hair, uh, you know, the white shape, you know, to, to basically go to war with the West? You know, an undercover wearing that, you know. People have magical properties, you know, like shape shifting. Course here, you know, that links to off a sea clock, the alien side, yeah. And the uh, course we were to uh, 2001, this chance. That was out of day with the apes and that, you know, so uh, again, the pigs and the monkeys, uh, their ideas, you know, from Islam. And uh, another 19 there, so you know what I mean, the 16 and the 19. Very start and end, so sort of, you know, something funny about this stuff, you know, like here uh, as regards the uh, Islamic uh, stuff.
there of course the little green man is a disguise for the black man you know the big black man type of thing which uh, again was so on Kermit the Frog you know Kermit the Frog was the football the one the first little green man idea then the meat on and the uh, E.T. and uh, you know all the rest of course um, this Odyssey thing you know the uh, which is like Huma you know Huma's Odyssey and Roma rendezvous with Roma so as you can see, very Masonic and uh, very Islamic. The Garden of Roma. course all the titles are you know totally good with the uh, that type of thing the fountains of paradise you know some very Islamic like in the hammer of god and that one near the trigger with Michael P cube McDowell cube you know like the uh, the mecca the mecca cube reach for the Morua Ah, I've quoted the uh, titles, of course, you know. And the Awakening there, yeah, there was one called The Awakening, which was about uh, Egypt. Not sure if it's the same one, like. Nine billion names of God. Loads, you know, loads of uh, coded stuff. <clears throat> you know, quite a prolific, uh, what you call it, author, you know. And all the glitters. Saudi Arabia, which uh, seemed to me to be like, uh, you know, like a bit of a fake reconstruction of something, but it's symbolic of something, which is probably somewhere else, probably somewhere more like Africa or something. So this is more like this type of disguise idea again, the profane idea. You know, it's basically this is for public sure type of thing, like a uh, you know like a reconstruction, of, you know, which is symbolic. Cuboid shaped. Nine and grave marble stones. Is the Al Hajar Wal Aswad? Black's doing. As you see, Oswald, the British reggae group. But, you know, Oswald is Arabic for black. So, you know, funny how all the stuff basically codes into Islamic idea, you know. Because, yeah, you know, a few years ago, they one would have equated sort of like these type of people with Islamic, you know what I mean? These would have be, uh, been seen as something totally different to that. But again, showing that there's an Islamic influence. 54 is my number. 9. Chomi Zeb. Angus Gear, the lead vocalist. Brinsley Ford. See what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, there's the Rastafari and the Lion thing. It's pretty similar to the one on the Ron. Everyone's